everyone, welcome to this day. Happy Monday morning and it is November 22nd. All right, we have one meeting to tell you about this morning and that's at 9.30. It is the architectural, third architectural control and standards and that'll be in the boardroom as well as virtual. And if you would like to follow along virtually, you can go to lagunawoodsvillage.com forward slash meetings. Now on our show today, we have Kaiser Permanente Ellie, and she is awesome and will help us understand the open enrollment process for Medicare. And uh, then we also talked to Rabbi James Kahn, who is here on behalf of Canisutica. Brand new uh, information regarding um, how you can treat yourself for pain. So we'll learn all about that. All right, let's take a look at our weather. We are looking at high clouds today. It's pretty nice already. Coming off that weekend where it was really nice, uh, lots of warm weather this weekend, but today we are still looking at warm, 81.59, tomorrow 72.55, 72.54. For our Thanksgiving Thursday, if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, 73.52. And Friday is shopping, 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 and that'll be 72.54. Our sunrise this morning was at 6.30. Our sunset will be at 4.45. And thank you, Cole, for sending in this gorgeous, uh, it looks like maybe a sunrise or a sunset in Hawaii. Beautiful. Always gorgeous skies over there. All right, if you have a photo you would like to share with us, please email it to Laguna Woods Village TV at gmail.com. When we come back, we will have Kaiser Permanente with Medicare Open Enrollment. Stay tuned. Black Friday Thanksgiving savings of that is on. Come in and gobble up the deals before they are gone. Come in today and get 0% APR financing for up to 48 months and no payments for 90 days on select new Hyundais, like a 2022 Elantra. That's right. Buy today with 0% APR and make no payments till next year. Or get up to $1,000 dealer choice cash on select new 2022 Hyundais. Now that's real savings. At Laguna Niguel Hyundai, you always drive home with peace of mind too. Welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Ellie here from Kaiser Permanente. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you, Lisa. Now, you are the queen <laughs> of Medicare. I mean, you've been doing this forever, right? And right. we've had you on a number of times to yes. talk about the complicated parts A, B, C, and D. And you know what? I, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> um, but every time I hear it, I, I feel like I need to hear it again and again because right. it just can be so complicated for it people. It could be. It could be. And especially in this annual election period where people are able to change or drop or add, they're wondering, what do I need to do in order to enroll in a Medicare Advantage yeah. program? Right. So I'll, I'll uh, simplify it for you, the ABCs of Medicare. First of all, Part A covers you for hospitalization. And of course, Medicare Part A does not have a premium. And then Part B, Medicare Part B covers you for outpatient services, doctor visit, and that does have a um, premium, a Medicare Part B premium. Okay. And a lot of people do ask, well, what's the cost? So it depends on your income. If you're a high income earner, of course, your Medicare Part B premium will be high, but the standard is $148.50. And a, a Medicare- A month or a year? A month. A month, yes. okay. And that, and, and do you pay, you just pay that premium, and then when, do you have co-pays or no? Okay. So with Medicare Part B, um, that Part B premium is taken out of your Social Security check. Got it. If you're collecting benefits, if you're not, then Social Security, they're very good at sending you a bill, quarterly bill for you to pay that I Part see. B. But as you just mentioned, Medicare Part A and Part B do not cover you 100%. So that's why a lot of people have options to enroll their Medicare, like with the Medicare Advantage program, and that's what Kaiser Permanente is. Okay. We become your Part C, okay. and we include the prescription drug coverage, and you have minimal co-payments. Okay. Yes. Okay. So then it's got, so it has uh, everything kind of all inclusive when you talk about the Advantage Plus. Correct. correct. So with Go Kaiser, ahead. you'll have primary care, specialist, Kaiser Permanente will give you um, your primary care, your specialist, and of course, a prescription drug coverage. Oh, I see. So it's got everything. Now, yes. how does that differ from other companies? I mean, 
Yes, so other companies only offer the Medicare Advantage or, or just the, the medical plan, and then you have to enroll in a prescription drug coverage. Got it. But with Kaiser Permanente Senior Advantage, you'll have your Part A and Part B, original Medicare, and then we become your Part C, and Part D prescription drug coverage is included. All right, now does somebody have to already be a Kaiser Permanente member to take advantage of this? No, ah. no, this, that's a great question. No, as long as you have Medicare Part A and Part B, mm -hmm. you are able to enroll in our Kaiser Permanente Medicare Advantage program. All right, that sounds fantastic. I mean, I love the fact that you're able to, you know, combine everything. Absolutely. Which is, which sounds, you know, different than anybody else. Yes. Now, I've actually seen you on some of the commercials, which yes. I think is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And Kaiser Permanente, you know, really has quite a good presence here uh, in the community, not Absolutely. just in the village, but um, all around. Yes. And you guys were recently awarded something. Tell me about yes, it. Yes, of course. I'm so excited to let you know. So I'm not sure if you know, but every year Medicare evaluates all Medicare Advantage programs using a very rigorous five-star rating system. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud of the fact that here in California, Kaiser has received five out of five-star rating wow. for 11 consecutive years. So we wow. maintain our five-star rated system. And the privilege of being a five-star rated is that as long as you have Medicare Part A and Part B, you could join Kaiser as early as November 1st. Oh. You don't have to wait till January 1st, 2022. You okay. could enroll as soon as the next month. That's the privilege of being a five-star rated health plan. That is fantastic. Yeah. Well, congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. And let's talk a little bit about Kaiser Permanente's integrated system. Absolutely. How does that work for all of your members? So Kaiser has a very unique way of delivering health care like no other HMO. And we have an integrated care that allows the medical health plan, the doctors, the specialists, the medical office, work in a coordinated fashion to give that quality of care to our members, mm -hmm. right? We have a very robust medical record system, which allows all the doctors to look up your medical records, such as your labs, your x-rays, your EKG, your stress tests, and there's a constant communication between specialists. Mm. So you don't have to take your, you don't have to talk, your, uh, talk about your story over and over. All that information will be in our robust medical record system. Okay. And in fact, when you become a Kaiser member, you could log on to my health manager, you could look up your own labs, your, you could email your doctor, um, you could cancel appointments. So we want to make it very convenient to our members, of course. Well, exactly. And, you know, everything is being done more online these days. Absolutely. So being able to look at your own records and kind of maybe recap what just happened so you know what to expect Absolutely. for next time. Absolutely. In fact, once you leave an appointment or a telehealth appointment, you do receive an email letting you know a summary of what you and the doctor spoke, your okay. blood pressure, all that information will be there. That's fantastic. Now, uh, as I mentioned, hearing it over and over again is helpful to me because then I'll know exactly what to expect. But what if somebody wanted more information or really wanted to talk to you in depth? How Absolutely. do they get in touch with you? So um, they could call me directly. My cell phone number, I believe, is on the back, in the background. Oh, it is? Yes, yes. <laughs> so they could call me directly. I do have a, a website that they could also visit. They could um, shoot me an email, uh, text me. I am available for one-on-one for -on -one appointments, of course. Okay. And also we're doing a lot of uh, face, FaceTime appointments mm -hmm. and we're doing webinars every single day for those individuals that want to just learn a little bit more about our Kaiser Permanente Senior Advantage program. And oh. if they want to enroll, because we are enrolling at this time for right. um, January 1st, they could always call me. Okay. And we could set that up for them. Okay, great. And then I also know that you will be uh, participating in an upcoming event here on November yes. 30th. Yes. And it's being held at the Florence Sylvester Senior Center. That's correct. And you'll have a booth there so yes. people can ask you questions? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I will be available there for any questions. I'll have materials too for those of you that are interested. Okay. And of course, um, I will be able to display a little booth and, and talk to you about what Kaiser Permanente Senior Advantage has to offer. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. make sure you you have your all of your information Absolutely. that gives you, you know, have those questions ready for you so yes. that way you'll be able to yes, of course. Uh, answer everything. Well, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Thank it you, was Lisa. really nice to see you again and Likewise. as always you've you've helped us understand the uh, avenues and peaks and valleys of Medicare. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, I'm here for whatever, you know, our members and non-members or those individuals that are interested in Kaiser Senior Advantage, they could reach out to us. Absolutely. Right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank all you, right. Lisa. And remember, if you want more information, you can always contact Ellie at the number that we displayed, or you can go to Kaiser Permanente forward slash Orange County. We'll be right back.
At Kaiser Permanente, your entire care team is connected. So even a routine appointment can save your life. I am so glad you did this mammogram so we can detect it early. Everything looks great with your eyes, and I see you're due for a mammogram. Should we schedule it? Oh yeah, that'd be great. A leader in the prevention, early detection, and treatment of cancer. Welcome back. So well, today I am joined by Rabbi James Kahn, who is the National Outreach Director for Holistic Industries, which is the parent company of Canasutica. Well, Rabbi Kahn, thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, uh, we actually had spoken with Sherry Horn regarding Canisutica, which was our first introduction to Canisutica. So I'm really excited to learn more about sort of how it all came about between Canisutica, uh, you know, and uh, holistic uh, industries. So tell me a little bit about how that came about. Well, Holistic Industries is a, um, it, it's, we, we operate in multiple states. We are actually one of the largest privately held cannabis companies in the country. Um, so we have a real sense of, uh, of, of patients, uh, the patients that are coming uh, to use cannabis, their needs, uh, the physicians that are recommending it, their concerns, and, uh, and Canisutica really came about um, as a way to respond to some of to a lot of the challenges that we saw in the industry, um, you know, for example, uh, a lot of uh, physicians, uh, you know, are really looking for uh, evidence. They, they they don't want just there's so much anecdotal evidence. I mean, cannabis has been around for five thousand years, mm -hmm. but they're looking for, um, you know, uh, uh, review board approved, uh, you know, um, Western typical kind of Western research. Uh, and and uh, IRB approved studies, and uh, and and so that's what we wanted to give them. We wanted to partner with an extremely reputable university and to conduct a study that would really prove what we know to be true, which is that cannabis is incredibly effective uh, for treating pain. Exactly, and I think all of those things that you mentioned is why many seniors uh, were reluctant in the first place. Right? It's like, oh no, you know, it was against the law, so we can't do that at all but now look at so many benefits and and now the fact that you can provide some sort of proof is is really quite advantageous yeah i mean look being a, uh, nobody wants to break the rules uh so it's been a real um you know in my own lifetime it's it feels like miraculous that that we've seen cannabis uh, legalized in so many states and you know, the majority of the country now lives in states where, where medical cannabis, they have access to medical cannabis to, to legal, regulated, lab tested, high quality medical grade cannabis products. Uh, and that's just, it's phenomenal. Well, and, and the fact that seniors is one of the fastest growing demographics. Uh, I mean, yes. we're supposed to have so many more people over the age of 65 over the next 10 to 20 years. And you know, we're all gonna have pain no matter what. And this is a great way to alleviate pain because we have a we have a, a opioid addiction going on. We do. It's an epidemic, really. Yeah, it's it's crazy how um, you know, there's been a lot of pharmaceuticals uh, that pharmacy companies are out there saying, Oh, you know, you can take this and you can take that. But then when I hear all the side effects, it's like, well, wait a minute, why would I want to take that if it has so many side effects? But then I don't believe that I'm aware of anything that cannabis is really providing any side effects, does it? Well, cannabis certainly does have side effects, but most importantly, none of those side effects uh, side effects are toxic. There's no okay. toxic dose of cannabis that you could consume. Uh, you know, with regard to Canisutica, this this uh, product that that we're developing, you know, you could consume multiple bottles and uh, and and without any real harm at all. And there's really you could consume all the Canisutica that we have ever produced, and you would not die. You wouldn't feel good. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but there's not a toxic dose, uh, you know, and there's toxic doses to everything, to aspirin, uh, to, to to almost every medication you get over the counter. Uh, there's a toxicity uh, at a certain dose and cannabis just isn't that way. You know, when you take cannabis, you might feel dry mouth. Uh, you could uh, you could feel uh, what what is um, typically called the munchies, which really just means an appetite stimulation. Um, you know, some people who uh, take too high of a dose of cannabis, especially mm -hmm. if they eat 
cannabis or, or um, they, they, they may feel uncomfortable or um, nervous, um, right. but really that's a dosage issue, do, dosage okay. issue, and it's not really an issue with cannabis itself. Okay. Um, just about educating our consumers. Well, exactly. And, and that's what I think a lot of folks are, are trying to figure out right now. And, and it's, and we'll get into a little bit of that in just a second. But before we do that, you know, if people are interested in using cannabis, what are some of the ways that they could actually use it right now? So cannabis can, can be consumed in a, in a bunch of different ways. Um, the most the typical way people are familiar with is, is um, smoking, um, but uh, smoking or vaping cannabis. Um, but, but really that is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, and, and even when people do, when I say vaping cannabis, what I mean is that um, the chemicals, cannabis is like a fruit salad of chemicals. And a lot of those chemicals um, have medical value, over a hundred that we've identified, what we call cannabinoids. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can actually heat cannabis to a certain temperature that releases those cannabinoids into like a mist or a vapor without actually consuming, without actually combusting the cannabis. So there's no um, ash uh, or... or, or um, or resin that's going into your lungs. It's just a vapor. That's one way, um, but there's also topicals, uh, which are creams or, or transdermal patches that people will use um, that you can purchase at dispensaries uh, all around the country. And then there's also um, capsules. Um, uh, capsules can be taken orally. Mm -hmm. um, there are, in some cases, some, some states have access to suppositories. Oh. Um, but for us, Canaceutica, we really looked at capsule as the ultimate form for cannabis consumption because it's a form factor that people are familiar with. Exactly. Are, yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's a good point. And, you know, um, the capsules themselves, which, which we'll talk a little bit about, but they're not readily available now because you are doing a study. It's a trial, like a, a clinical trial in which people can participate in. Tell me about the clinical trial and who you're partnered with. So we've partnered with Niamedic and um, with UC Irvine to conduct this trial um, uh, where we are uh, uh, treating patients who suffer from chronic pain mm -hmm. with our product, with Canaceutica. And we have a, uh, a dosage um, uh, schedule, which is, which is really one of the greatest challenges that, uh, you know, when I speak to physicians about their reluctance to recommend cannabis, it's a lot of it is dosage. They don't know what to tell their patients. You know, uh, there's no take two and call me in the morning because what are you yeah. telling them to take two of? Two joints? Well, how big of a joint? And do how big of a puff do I take? And how long do yeah. I hold it in? All those are kind of, you know, just their questions and they're not yeah. they're not standardized. So with Canaceutica, we know what's in the product. We've created a product that we can replicate over and over. There's consistency um, so that when you, uh, you know, uh, soon when you'll be able to purchase Canaceutica at reputable dispensaries, licensed dispensaries across the country, mm -hmm. you know that what you get in California um, at your dispensary in, in Northern California will be the same as what you get when you buy Canaceutica in Michigan or in Florida oh. or in New Jersey. And that is in the world of the cannabis industry, um, incredibly innovative and uh, state of the art because it's just it just hasn't existed like that before. So we've created a dosage. Um, when you're dealing with these uh, consistent products, mm -hmm. um, you can create a dosage schedule. Um, it starts at 2.5 milligrams. Um, we also have five milligrams, and I mm -hmm. believe we're going to have a 20 milligram tablet as well. But you use those 2.5, uh, and you start with that. And then you increase it at a, at a very regimented schedule, trying to get to what we call a maintenance dose, which is the dose where the greatest benefit uh, is felt with the least uh, number of side effects. And what we, we call, uh, what, what most people would consider being high, a side effect. Um, so for folks who aren't comfortable with that, they need not feel that way. Mm -hmm. They can actually get the benefit of cannabis at a level that doesn't make you feel out of control or dizzy um, and still really get a lot of the benefits of cannabis. That is that is a great idea because you know many people may not choose smoking, but they might choose an edible. And again, you're at the same situation where it's like, well, if it's 20 milligrams, how much should I bite off? And you know, that kind of thing. So I think this is really smart and it might be a much easier way for people to understand how to use this product to help with their pain. 
Now, I know this study is specific to pain, but would these uh, capsules from Cannaceutical also assist with anxiety and some other things that cannabis is used for? So it's very, very likely that they will. We're, they're just not being part, they're not currently being studied as part of our trial. Okay. Um, when you're using cannabis to treat something like anxiety, dosage again is critical. And I would encourage anyone listening to this who are, who's experimenting or considering experimenting with cannabis to start low dose and yeah. start slow. So okay. that means, um, you know, what we consider a micro dose of cannabis is 2.5 milligrams of THC. THC is one of those chemicals that I said uh, cannabis is full of. It's yeah. the most famous one and it's the one that's most known for its psychoactivity. So okay. you want to keep that low um, and, uh, and just increase slowly. So, you know, when you take a capsule of Canaceutica, you would start with that 2.5 milligram and then it wouldn't be for another day or two before you would try increasing to a higher dosage. I see. And then you touched on one of the ingredients in the capsules is the THC, but now there's also CBD in it too, which, is. you know, some people go, oh no, you should do CBD only or THC, but now you've actually combined the two. Yeah. So one of the, one of the things that, that we've discovered in our, in our research and, 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 in you know, uh, years of experience now, um, providing cannabis uh, in a lot of different forms to, to patients across the country is that cannabis is, is a, works best as a whole plant. Uh, when, 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 I, when I said that fruit salad reference, um, it, it, it works, you know, if you're just picking out the melon or you're just picking out the grapes <laughs> from your fruit <laughs> salad, that's not the best way to consume cannabis. You really want the whole plant experience. So um, what we've learned is that CBD works great when there's a little bit of THC there too. And the same thing, THC works better when there's a little bit of CBD. So we've put together a proprietary formula of a, what we call full spectrum extract, which pulls all those great cannabinoids the plant has to offer, mm -hmm. um, THC, CBD, CBC, CBG. <laughs> these are, you know, for most folks, these are just, this is an alphabet uh, soup yeah. of letters I'm, I'm saying, but these are, each one of these have different, um, uh, uh, different impacts, uh, anti-inflammatory properties, right. uh, uh, you know, antibacterial properties. Um, uh, just, just what we've done is take the guesswork out of cannabis mm -hmm. and we put these best of um, cannabinoids together in the right ratios that we have found to be most effective. And now we're gonna prove it uh, through, uh, you know, an IRB approved study with the ICU. Love that, University love that. Of California Irvine. Yeah, yeah well, tell me about the study itself, uh, the clinical trial, how people get involved. All right, well, hopefully you're gonna soon put a number on your screen that's mm -hmm. gonna tell people exactly uh, uh, how, they, uh, how they reach out to us and, and who they, or a website that they can go to. Yep. Um, but you need to be at least 21 you need to have had pain for at least three months, which is defined as chronic pain. Okay. Um, you have to have tried at least two traditional treatments, um, either over-the-counter products or prescription medicines, mm -hmm. um, but still are experiencing pain or some sort of side effect that you don't want to experience. So, so basically, you be uh, you're not satisfied yet with your with with whatever treatment you're 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 using to manage your pain. Right. Um, and we're also um, excluding for the purpose of this trial, cancer related pain um, or, or fibromyalgia related pain. Okay. And the, per the reason we're doing that is because those are such, um, it's not because we don't believe cannabis is helpful. In fact, we know in many cases it is for both of those uh, situations, um, but because the dosages are different than uh, and, and often much higher than what yeah. we're looking for, for uh, with, with treating chronic pain. Okay. Excellent. Well, I appreciate all of the information. Good uh, luck to you. And I look forward to hearing more about how it all turns out. If you want more information, go to our website and complete the survey. It's niamedic-usa.com forward slash cctta-pain-study. Perfect. Well, thank you again for the information and we will talk to you again. Looking forward to it. All right. And remember, if you want more information about this, you can go to the website that is shown on your screen.
great day today. Oh, I respect it. There's your meals, and we'll see you later. Thank you very much for coming. Bye-bye. This is AgeWell Senior Services. Won't you make it yours? back. Well, just a reminder. Well, first of all, we have a Monday movie for you today. Today's movie is called uh, Stars Fell on Alabama, and that is sponsored by Kaiser Permanente. And you can see that at 2 p.m. with subtitles and 6 p.m. without subtitles. Now the reminders. So starting January 1st, uh, NBC Universal and ESPN Classic both have shut down uh, their, this particular channel. So NBC Universal shuts down the main sports channel, NBCSN, and then ESPN Classic. So just to let you know that these will not be available starting January 1st. But if you have any questions, you can email programming at vmsinc.org. All right, let's take a look at our weather real quick as we head out. We're looking at nice temperatures today. 81 is going to be our high, and the rest of the week we're going to be in the low 70s. But we are looking for nice sunshine throughout the rest of the week. Have a great day in the village. Happy Monday to you. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on Village Television. Have a great day. Bye-bye. What sets MadePro apart from other cleaning companies? Well, for starters, we're pros. So we're pro scrubbing, dusting, shining. We're pro kid and pet friendly. We're pro doing things your way, like not touching your messy desk. We're pro neat freak. We're pro affordable and pro Monday afternoons because that time was just right for you. In short, MadePro is pro you. MadePro, because your standards aren't standard. California Living meets expert memory care at Sarah Soul. Our community is designed to help those with Alzheimer's or dementia live truly inspired lives. From caring staff who knows your loved one's favorite activities to comfortable routines that spark positive memories, we bring a touch of warmth into everything we do. Memory care is a big decision, and we're here to help every step of the way. See what makes Sarah Soul unique. Learn more today at sarahsoul.com. I'm Jerry Slusowitz, founder of Pacific Financial Planners. Did you know that one simple mistake can derail your retirement plan? By not making the shift to income-based investing, you could be setting up your retirement plan to fail. If you're at or near retirement age, time is not on your side. One major stock market correction could wipe out your life savings. Visit safeincometoday.com to make the switch. Create retirement income you can count on.